Hello everyone and welcome back to my hard mode completely stock career in Kerbal Space Program 1.8. This series will be completely conducted during Twitch live streams, but of course edited for YouTube. And so most of the audio will be the in-stream audio, except for this little introduction. Now there is some choppiness in the flight scenes because of the way I was streaming and recording at the same time. That should be fixed during the third stream, which will be a few episodes down. Last time we got Jeb into orbit and that's where we're picking up from here. And so here's the in-stream audio. I have never finished Mass Effect 3. I would like to do that very much. Yeah, the Mass Effect games are great and much beloved. You can't be total noob, I'm total noob. Can There can only be one. Orange Rocket? Orange Rocket. Oh, what was the next name that we're going for? Buster. Buster. Buster Keaton. Apprentice Noob. That That's trying to out-noob me, I feel. You're trying to be a super noob. Okay, science finally. And we should uh, unlock EVAs, gosh darn it. It's not like we've got Kerbal Construction time and it takes forever to do it. Astronaut Complex EVAs. 150,000? Yep. Okay, what other contracts can we pick up? Explore Kerbin. Orbital spacewalk near Kerbin. Good times. <laughs> We're not great on funds, to be honest. But a lot of the stuff we've got here is utter nonsense. I'm not sold on this orange thing, but it's different. Oh, your cat's orange? Jeez. Oh, so many orange cats. Sure, it's not more like a brownish sort of thing going. I could actually do some re readings right now. I don't know if it gets stored. So if I do another one. Oh, throw up. You have an orange cat and it's called Rusty. That's appropriate. Yeah, it wants me to overwrite. Gosh darn it. Bounty is going to have to EVA and grab those before she can do another one. We'll get a goo in high altitude. I've gone way steeper than I wanted to. Seems like we're in high altitude situation. Observe mystery goo. Uh, yeah, upper atmosphere. New hair. New hair colors. Was there- there was a first-person thing going on in KSP2, wasn't there? Or was I mistaken? No, I think only- only... Kerbinauts on Kerbin have the last name Kerman. That's pretty typical in history that the last name is taken from your occupation. And so Kerman is what they call Kerbinauts. Just like Smiths, you know, come from blacksmiths and all and also it can be an honorific name um, in Japan they changed their name when they took on a new occupation in the medieval days not now uh, but in the medieval days it was very common to do a name change when you uh, took on a different status in life and so people could pile up like five six names if they kept changing well you know what they were up to not all societies are like our current society, even on Earth. Naming convention conventions are different. It doesn't necessarily mean uh, indicate family association. Or first names can indicate family association sometimes. Okay, and that should be enough to deorbit. Let's get another goo. And Valentina gets to do our first EVA. I think we've already done the crew report. Yeah. Data. Well, uh, I guess we'll just bring it down. Let's do collect data from the thermometer. Oh, right. Uh, big data. Board. Now. 
log temperature. Sure data. Okay. Really tell. Are we over a different biome? Uh, is that still a different thing? Yes, grasslands. Shore is gonna be real hard since I can't really see. I don't have any uh, mod to tell me what biome I'm over. Water. Water. It's gonna be shore somewhere. Just gonna keep spamming it. Or is there not gonna be short? There we go. Persistence. <clears throat> Highlands. Hello, Archon. Or Archon. Shores we already got. Mountains. Keep forward. Okay, desert. Which should just leave the poles, really. A second orbit, actually. The first one, uh, we didn't have the larger fuel tank, so we couldn't carry the science with us. So, um, and we didn't have EVAs unlocked yet. The so second orbit. I mean, second time we've launched a Ker Kerbal 2 orbit. Camera than all the rest. It's an interesting camera, but it's more flexible than in a lot of other games. Like, x 11 doesn't have the center... If you click the middle mouse button, this pan. I wish x 11 had that. I have goo, I don't have materials bay. I've already done the goo. Uh, seems like water. Just not mountains, please. God. Maybe grasslands? Grasslands? Can we get grasslands? I have a bad feeling about this. Hmm, I don't suppose- that, that's a nice plateau actually. Can we get that plateau maybe? <laughs> Just not the slope. Uh, it's tough to tell. I think we're gonna smack into the side of it. How bad is this slope right here? Seems pretty bad. Of all the biomes in all the worlds, okay, I think we'll hit here. Maybe. That's the nice thing about Earth, I mean... It's very relatively flat because they didn't have many pixels to create bumps out of. And they were all stretched out. Watch out, there's a mountain there. It's coming right at you. It's still a slope. Ooh. Oh god. No, I don't like that at all. <laughs> um, this way, this way. No, you can... On the bright side, we might be able to get biome data for mountain, but only if we survive. And don't roll down. Okay, I say yes now. All right. Hmm. EV report. Keep and let's uh, get those and get mountain data. Take. Uh... But only a scientist can operate those things from outside. So whatever. Log pressure data. Okay, th we still have this- oh look, it's everywhere. See, the ground is shaky. We've got persistent tremors on the textures in Kerbal Space Program now. Okay, very suspicious doings. Cover vessel. No wonder they need to leave Kerbin, it's about to rip itself apart from all the earthquakes. It's obviously unstable because of its high density. That's the story. We now have a story. Okay, so nobody cares about stability. <laughs> um, materials bay, batteries. This is all very important stuff. Except for the probable benign state put in it, that's not important. This is important stuff. 
Ja, Science. Hm, I haven't seen it at the KSC. Um, we didn't see it on the crawler way. Okay, explore the moon. Return the Kerbin from a flyby of the moon. Shall we try the state put? Like, that's probably a bad idea. It doesn't really stay put. Yeah. And we don't have a we don't have the reaction wheel yet, so. We could use it to launch a materials bay, though. I could do with the advance. And we might as well get that contract. There's no other good contract right now. Yeah, I know. I know. Um, Tracking station would be nice. A launch pad would be nice. We just don't have enough money. That... This hard mode stuff. I swear. So, how many parts can we... Four more. Anyway, let, yeah, let's, let's just toss the... Toss the materials bay up to high altitude. We need to get to solar panels. Communication. We need communication. 31,600 kilometers. That sounds like it's good enough for the moon, right? The State Putnik has good enough internal com uh, yeah, for for orbit at least. Yeah, we're we're trying to look make it look good even though it sucks. <laughs> I don't even think, yeah, I mean, we're definitely not getting this to the moon, but. We should do be able to do high orbit, though. Let's launch it straight up with an SRB. Hmm. I guess we do need a thermal thing. What's the temperature on this one? 2000 Kelvin. That should be good enough for uh, suborbital reentry, right? Maybe. A drogue shoot might be good, because we're going straight up to high Kerbin orbit and straight back down again. What's the mass ratio between the two types of parachute? Not that much. Yeah, I'll add the other science. Hmm. Let's have one main shoot and one drogue shoot. We're gonna have asymmetric earmuffs. Apologies. And this uh, stay putting is very shiny these days. They're nearly... They're, they're not that far apart in mass, but the physical size of them is off. Well, there goes the good look. Oh, well, let me put it on this side. I don't care about covering up the thing. Well, I need a battery. Uh, let me see. Uh, how much electric charge? 10. Uh, we, we don't have a reaction wheel, and we're not transmitting the data. We are going to recover it, so probably not. How many hours? I've made a thousand Kerbal Space Program videos. <laughs> um, I'd say on average each of them probably took three hours, so just the stuff that I made on video was three three thousand hours. Um, on this channel, which usually was not uh, not stuff that I turn into videos. Let's see, I have streamed Kerbal Space. I'm not even in my own chat. I can't tell how... I've streamed probably 3,600 hours, so... More than 6,000 hours. Way more than 6,000 hours. I wouldn't be surprised if I was really close to 10,000... Uh, six, yeah, uh, 10,000 hours by now. But I haven't played stock in... a long time. So, there's that. I mean, not stock career anyway. Stock career, last time I actually tried it was probably one point f Well, no, I did the Kerbalism series, but that's not really stock stock. We definitely need fins. All the fins. Should we spin stabilize the bloody thing? I don't know if that's a good idea or a bad idea. Spin stab- it's just- if you don't have any other way of controlling the rocket, um, because this doesn't have a reaction wheel or any 
sort of SAS or anything. You just spin the rocket and it'll stay pointed in the same general direction as long as you do it right. But as you saw on the sounding rockets thing, uh, it's touchy. It's touchy. If you uh, go at too high a thrust to weight ratio, it'll start to wobble. If you go too low, it'll start to wobble. <laughs> so, a nighttime launch. Well, we've got limited electric charge, so go! So we're just gonna point straight up and hope it stays stable by spinning. Oh, and if you don't spin fast enough, it can stop spinning during the... when you're going through the transonic region. That's a problem. Because there's transonic drag. This is not spinning fast enough. See? I didn't put the thermometer, did I? And barometer. Well, that saved us some money. But anyway... Observe materials bay. And maybe we'll get higher, who knows. Net net it's going up. Looks like we could do with some extra battery too. The parachutes will probably be overburdened if we... Well, they might be okay even if we didn't expend the fuel, but it's probably a good idea. Alright, locked view. Hope you don't get vertigo. The materials bay. Keep. Um, I don't think there's any other signs except for the mystery goo. I think we've already done the mystery goo in high, so we'll do it at low this time. Hopefully it won't bust anything when it lands on its side. Nine point. That's a higher velocity than I thought it would be, but okay. Definitely need battery. Okay, before it topples. Before it topples. Science can? Uh, I think we do, but I haven't used it yet. Let's get some finniness over here. We could use... Uh, I hope the fins aren't too expensive. I think they're 75 apiece. We will try it out again. Probo 2. Let's be honest about it. We're not one of these space programs that disavows knowledge of our missions if they're semi-unsuccessful. Not yet. It's extra mass. We don't need that yet. Oh, battery. That we could do. Hold on. Let's add two. Okay, let's see if this has enough spin on it. Okay. Don't really need to throttle up or turn on SAS. Okay, here we go. Spin, baby, spin. There we go. Hopefully it won't slow down and transonic this time. At least the fin's on. Ah! Hit the spun. Oh, well. You know what? Spinning sucks. English counties? No, let's not do that. It's even got fins on. I don't think spin stabilizing and stock kerbal works very well. And nobody wants to watch uncrewed stuff anyway. Um, well, we'll do it on the sur uh, the science junior we've done in high altitude, but not low altitude. And then we'll do the goo at the surface, wherever we splash down. Well, we don't have communication with the horizon in the way, so I can't do the goo. Scotland, Wales, a whole bunch of options. Did everything, uh, every everything got killed except for the top? That's why I attached everything to this, but uh, but the Science Junior got killed. That's water. Great. So we didn't get any science from this. Uh, realism over all water is not like that. <clears throat> Alright, let's get some more sciences. Flight control would help. In many ways. 
I don't have enough science for the good core right now. Let's let's do it. Uh, requires any, so we can. We need better parachute configuration here, just in case we splash down. So more parachute. Okay, so we have a reaction wheel now. Bloody expensive things. We don't have SAS with this though. These vain attempts to get to high Kerbin orbit with this silly thing. All right. Did they like increase the D spin just to prevent propellers from going past the speed of sound or something? Gosh darn it. It's, I think it's fast enough though. Nope. Uh, okay, let me try and... Come on, come on, up, up, up. Now I have to manually do it. No, get back up here. Get back up here. Get back up, 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 up. Uh, okay, no. That's horizontal. <laughs> Trouble with spinning it is that it's a lot harder to control when you're trying to manually do it. Uh, well, we didn't get the science junior last time at low, so. Well, 1.2 isn't nothing. And by the time we splash down, we won't have communication, so we can't do it on the surface. Okay, this, this is it. No more Probo. Anything but Probo. We should probably send a Kerbal to the pole. That might be good. Okay, please, water, don't kill us this time. 4.56... Seems pretty mild to me. Water. I swear, water, if you hurt my science junior. Okay. Don't, don't hurt. Nope. Okay. Cover. Recover. Spinning globe kraken. Spinning rapidly, then the game crashed. It's always something. Okay, time for a polar orbit launch. Back to the Buster 1. We need to get through the night, darn it. All these nighttime launches. Now uh, we want to go north. A bit wobblier than usual. Hmm. Unlock stability and things get more wobbly. Remember, uh, we've got a little bit of orbital velocity in the prograde direction ready, that's why we're going slightly retrograde. Let's coast for a bit. Uh, we're trying to go to the pole. Doom? Just a bit chilly. This, this does not look good. <laughs> I feel like I've got a setting that's mixed, mis messed up. Uh, we don't really want to make it steeper, to be honest. Let's just get rid of the service module. Might be already too steep. We'll see. Yeah, well, we're already in the atmosphere, so we can't do... Uh, I guess we haven't done the crew report from upper atmosphere before. Keep... We haven't done ap upper atmosphere for these, have we? Nope. Camera's turning, we're right over the pole here. See the compass. Do I dare EVA him right now and see? He can. Uh, how well do they cling on these days to the hatch? Good, not good. Seems okay. Well, he might not have enough time to deploy his own parachute, is what I was worried about. It's a little bit too close to the ground. Yeah, they're not insta-deploy. Are they? 
they take a little bit of time. Oh, the pressure scan? Well, it's only flying, it's not biodependent. Is this ground shaky? Yep, this ground is shaky too. I don't know what they've done. Pretty instant? Okay. Well, it's not gonna let me because I'm not a scientist, but if he's inside, it can be done. Whatever. Okay, EV report. Northern Ice Shelf. We can't do surface samples yet, I don't think. Oh heck, plant a flag. Jeb was here. Ah, not here. Here. He loves it, I can imagine. Bob in particular. All right, recover. 32.2 science. Hmm. Uh, the, these all require 90 and I want this one before we go to the moon. I don't know, we could probably squeeze out a moon mission. Well, we have a pad limit on the tonnage anyway. We need to upgrade the pad if we want to do that. Or the terrier. The other option is to get the terrier. How much is the terrier? Science, I mean. Yeah, we could get the terrier. Let's do that. Now, what's your thrust to weight ratio there? 1.19, that's not bad. We could probably put more fuel up there. But I, I don't think this has enough burn time to put more fuel up there. Probably we have to put more fuel here. Well, we'll try it. It's Val's turn. I don't know, Val. This might be dangerous. <laughs> 